I'm very proud to show you my new composter that I just built and it's actually version 2. Uh, the first one I learned a lot from uh, and this one actually uh, seems to be working quite better. It's made of a 55 gallon uh, plastic drum uh, on a, the horizontal and the idea is to spin it. And the theory is, is that you'll be able to take grass clippings and non-food waste, uh, even you know whatever vegetables you may have but uh, uh, nothing meat or what have you and uh, turn that into compost within about 14 days pure compost my construction is actually of metal uh, angle iron uh, and uh, everything on the inside uh, is actually uh, resistant to uh, rusting um, so what you see on the door is you see that uh, this is all uh, aluminum uh, and on the inside in one second you'll see how uh, everything else is but uh, this actually just give her a little spin uh, of course there's nothing in it but and it spins really well but uh, as you can see it's it spins with no problems with the door open you can see inside I put a light in there that um, it's ABS pipe that goes from one end to the other uh, what I did is I just used a PL premium uh, after I used a hole saw to cut it, that's two inch ABS pipe. And uh, you can even see the air holes and there's various air holes around. Um, and the most important part is actually the fins. You'll notice that that is actually uh, inch and uh, three quarter, two inch um, aluminum uh, angle. Uh, and they're actually positioned very close to the, the door. And the theory is, is that as you spin it and pull your material, uh, it will come down and hit that uh, ABS pipe and aerate itself uh, to the point where, um, uh, but what it's doing is, is it's banging on pure plastic as opposed to a door. Now, as I said, I chose to build this out of angle steel uh, and welding it. Uh, but you could theoretically take um, a two by four construction and build it. Uh, and what I would do is I would just, uh, I would do an X pattern uh, and put your pipe in the center. And what this actually took me a long time to figure out what would actually work. Um, this is a fix with a, uh, just a, a typical muffler clamp. Um, that is a Schedule 40 uh, pipe uh, that is uh, inch and seven eighths in diameter, um, outside diameter. And uh, it's typically used for fencing, for um, uh, heavy fencing, uh, but you can get it you know, relatively anywhere. Uh, it's nothing really special. Uh, you'll notice that the ABS pipe here uh, has, um, uh, it has been painted. And, and by the way, this is a, it's been painted with a Krylon paint that uh, does plastic. Uh, this is a collar uh, on the outside. Uh, it's a coupler, sorry. Uh, and, and what that is doing is, is actually helping to keep this plastic barrel in shape because as the material, the weight in the material is going to push outwards so it stops it. And then I actually cut a little piece here and I use it as a bit of a wear bar. As you can see there's not much of a, a distance and gap. Um, and if it does wobble a little bit, uh, it'll actually still spin. And uh, at the very center of that coupler, I drilled and put a uh, grease nipple uh, so that for further you need to put uh, uh, grease as it uh, uh, wears away or washes away. Although I, what I did is I used synthetic grease uh, and uh, coated it all over the pipe and then uh, put it in and uh, uh, it's, it's very well greased as you can see it spins very well. Other features as you can see is um, I just took a, a bungee cord. Uh, and made it the proper length, cut it and put a knot in it to hold that lid so that when you go to, um, when you go to actually dump it, um, it will stay up. And the height is actually proper for um, a, uh, a wheelbarrow to go right underneath of it. And that's why you'll see that the, um, the cross arms for support are on an angle. Uh, as well as you'll see that um, it's on some wood, and this is actually hemlock because the properties of hemlock is it doesn't rot very well. Uh, the ability to keep everything up, all the metal up off the ground, and uh, also if you need to move it, uh, it's easier to skid it across. Air holes are important. 
I, uh, I put them as close to the center as possible, as you can see, and a few on the outside, smaller holes that you'll see, and they're more of a drain hole in case that water gets in. Um, I'm not sure of the size. I, I do believe that bigger is better. Uh, I did it in the plugs as well, because uh, the more airflow, the more that you're going to get uh, stuff to, uh, to decompose. Thank you very much for watching my video, and I hope that uh, this has helped you build your own composter for uh, creating your own rich ground uh, from the stuff that you normally throw away.